Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about stop and listen. I know in our lives today, um, we've got a lot of audio and video dialogue. We have, and this is internal, we have video um, screens constantly flashing before us, um, thoughts and ideas that we have about work, uh, people that we, we know, you know, friends, relatives, all kinds of things. And then we've got the audio that goes with it. And it, it can be pretty consuming. And then add, you know, a large company on top of that and, and work uh, for, for people. And life can get, you know, pretty complicated. And then, you know, the political climates, wars now again, you know, nothing ever seems to change. I've been around 70 plus years. And, we take brief timeouts, but nothing really changes. More wars. I don't understand it. Good luck to you young people. You're the ones that have to deal with it. So if we can get rid of the audio, get rid of the video, it's not easy. I understand. But get your own room. It sure becomes a lot easier. Cease all your hunger and thirst requirements. I do this every day in my room. It's almost like a religion. Just you and time, you know, and then press the play button. And you should be able to do a lot of things in that room. You know, you should be able to do a lot of things. You know, hearing is just an acknowledgement of, of a source, of a sound source. But listening is, is real understanding. You know, it's it's that connection that you have in, in the first row with the musician who's playing acoustic guitar. It's that connection that you have with your speakers and your system that puts you in a different place. And that's a great place to be, you know. Stop and listen. You want to be there. It's, uh, listening is more emotional. How about guitar breaks. I mean, I'm a big electric guitar fan, and uh, I just love when a guitarist starts a, a guitar break, which he's going to do on his own, and then does the break, and then does the ending. He walks out. So he kind of walks in, and he walks out. And for that brief moment in time, I can kind of like be where he is. I kind of understand the mindset. I can't play the instrument, but I understand what he's going through to produce the sound. You know, it's, it's understanding. And I think that's really important. And it, it doesn't come easy. You have to really work hard for it. You have to really work hard for it. Listen for all the instruments first. Make sure you hear all the instruments. You're watching them if it's a video screen. You're watching a performance, you should be able to tell what the instruments are. If, if you're not and not seeing a video screen, then start listening deeper. And you should be able to pick out all the instruments first and foremost. Make sure they sound like instruments. Does the kick drum sound like a kick? Does the snare sound like a snare? Does a rim shot sound like a rim shot? That's the fundamental. Can you hear all orders of harmonics? First, second, third, fourth. Four is almost a minimum that I require. And our rooms do that with a combination of our carbon and foam. Does everything live and die on its own volition? Or does the room get in the way? Does the room sneak in there at 40 hertz and blow it up? Or attenuate it to the point where I don't hear anything? Or 50 hertz for a kick drum? Too much? Not enough. The snare sounds flat. Okay, too much. So you have to listen for all these things. These are the important things to listen for. And if you want to improve it, you got to get the resolution of the room to equal the resolution of our gear today. We're so far behind in our rooms in terms of resolution. Gear is like, if we're running a marathon, gear is like on mile 20 and we're on mile 3. So there's a big gap there. But we're coming along and we're improving it dramatically. But all these things are possible today. So really, stop and listen. It's important. Hope this helps. Thank you.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.